Thanks for joining the channel. Today we'll be showing you how to uh, set up a new website using SiteGround, but how to transfer it using their um, native plugin. So what we we'll do is uh, we've got to add the domain name to the hosting account. I'm just going to go through the setup instructions here. So we're going to choose migrate website because the website is currently built and we want to um, transfer it across. So there's this free option. So let's select this. Um, we don't need any of that. And we don't need that. So this is the first time I'm using this tool. Usually I use duplicator. So um, try this to see how it goes so that took about one minute to set up so now we've got to download um, this plugin so that's downloaded and we should upload that to the website which we want to transfer so we can just go to the WordPress dashboard uh, plugins add plugin got the side and migrator so that's what we want that's installed you can see it in the left hand side SG migrator so we need uh, the migration key which can be found here and then email we don't need that so uh, we can start migration yep that's fine we've got it on a, a staging URL at the moment um, so that's why the website address needs to be rewritten in the database so that's fine so there's two parts of a WordPress website there's the files of the website but also WordPress uses a database as well so we're transferring the files the database and rewriting the URLs within the database because it's on a staging URL at the moment so So right now I can show you the website. This is the um, current website and we'll be changing the name servers. So to do this here at the name servers, um, these are the current ones um, which are pointing to a different hosting service. So I will use my own. By changing these, it will point the website, it will point the domain name instead of pointing to the other hosting provider, it will point it to SiteGround where the new website's currently being transferred. So let's save that. So, it's good. Been changed there. So they do say that changing uh, name servers or DNS records can take between 24 to 48 hours. It's very rare that that's ever happened to us, uh, to me, uh, whenever we've been changing a domain name, but it's possible. So downloading here, let's see if the website, website still works. We've been waiting a few minutes for the files to transfer. Um, for larger websites, this will take longer. I expect if you've got a WooCommerce website with a lot of products, then this is going to take a while to transfer all the images. Seem to be stuck on the last 12. There you go. 
So it's down, far down it completed, and now it's starting the, the migration over to the live domain name. Okay, so that's um, that's completed. That took about about five minutes in total. So set up a template URL. Look some performs. Initiate a new transfer. Let's have this. Prefer that didn't open like that. Yeah, that looks uh pretty good. That's as it should be. So that's done. Um, initiate new transfer. I guess that's for a different website. So. We changed name servers currently. There you go. So we refreshed it now and we've got your connection is not private. So the name servers have taken in effect. Um, let's refresh the screen. So it's not registering that yet. So we need, so this is a, um, your connection is not private means there's not an SSL certificate installed for this domain name. So we probably need to activate this. Let's just get that, see if that sets up easily enough. Okay, so that, that's active. Um, let's see if that takes. There you go, perfect. So now that's um, uploaded. So that is super easy. Um, so yeah. That's, that's now live on the main domain name. It's always good to check links to make sure the URLs are correct. Uh, yeah, perfect. So that is transferring a WordPress website onto SiteGround using their native plugin um, SG Migrator. Took about five minutes for a standard brochure website. Uh, yeah, perfect. If you've got any questions, drop it below and we will be glad to help you.